and welcome to the Urban League of Broward County's Ready to Lead Conference, Racial Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Conference, powered by Amazon. So the motto for Lilies of Charleston is, may you never feel unwanted, unloved, or hungry. And that is all attributed to my Aunt Lily. You never left her home hungry. My sister Kelly and I started Lilies in 2001. But the story really goes back to when Dad started a restaurant called The Rib Shack. And that's where all of the recipes generated from. Mmm, that's good. Sweet and savory. Yeah. A little bit of it's got a little, little kick. Yeah, a little bit. Like I like. I like a little kick. With Jamel's chemistry background, we figured out how to scale it up and get it bottled, and that's where we started. <laughs> He's playing with stuff all the time, and then I'm like, ooh, we need to figure out what that could be. That's a new product. Everything that I do, every idea that I have, you know, Tracy and I usually discuss it first, and then I'll make it, I'll play around with it, maybe make a couple different versions, and then we'll have like have family gatherings, and there are guinea pigs, right? So you guys want to try any of this? This is uh, the regular mustard barbecue sauce. I know you don't want to try it. Are you, you like that one? Did you like that one? That's one of the things that I really enjoy, and, and Tracy has, does as well, is going out and meeting the local retailers. We like that kind of personal connection. We always tell them, look, if you can do it, call us by the beginning of the week. You'll have it, everything you need by Friday. Well, I'm Kenneth Washington. I am a senior account manager uh, on the Black Business Accelerator team for Amazon. I have a portfolio of uh, businesses that I help grow. Ken made it easier because we had already been working with him and we trusted his recommendations. One thing that Tracy and Jamel did to rec really get me engaged right away was they, they said, you know, on our first call, what's your address? I'm sending you a care pack. It's them. It's the brand. It's the love. You guys had a barbecue going on back here. <laughs> I was hoping I could join. Oh. I don't come empty hand. It was it was really easy to understand how I need to support them, and also too, it was important for me to help amplify that because I know that if we can get that sauce in, uh, in other folks' kitchens, that they would feel the same way I felt about it. When we first saw that people in Alaska <laughs> were getting our sauce, right. and then sometimes in Hawaii, we could see when it got to different areas of the country. We were like just giddy. Ken has has done all kinds of great things for us. He's been really helpful in terms of helping us figure out strategically where we need to launch new products, when we need to do it, how we need to do it. We concentrate on marketing and sales. That's the kind of thing that, that Amazon makes possible. Historically, you know, these black businesses haven't had a voice, but really this accelerator has opened Amazon's eyes even to exploring different ways to help these types of businesses grow. And also to give us a platform to have discussion and dialogue around really what it really takes um, to build these businesses and have success overall. My advice to black entrepreneurs who are looking at Amazon would be to definitely take that leap of faith. You can be like us and go from regional to national. It's definitely possible. All right, All right guys. time for dinner. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I am sure enough hungry at this particular point. I am Dr. Jermaine Smith-Baugh, President and CEO of the Urban League of Broward County. And once again, I welcome you to our Ready to Lead conference. You could have been anywhere in the world this morning, but you've chosen to be present today and you want to learn, you want to lead, and you want to advance diversity, equity, and inclusion strategies that will propel your company, your business, and culture forward. And for that, here at the Urban League, we are so grateful. So one of the major corporations, which you've just learned about, that recognizes and is deeply committed to ready strategies and this work is our corporate sponsor, Amazon Incorporated. Named one of the best places to work by the Human Rights Campaign and LinkedIn. In addition, 
uh, to being recognized on the NAACP Equity, Inclusion, and Empowerment Index, as well as the Disability Equality Index. We are honored to partner with Amazon this morning and hear from their Senior Manager of Community Engagement, Ms. Angelica Santibayanez, who is their, as I shared, Senior Manager of Community Engagement. We're gonna be able to learn more about how Amazon is at the forefront of DEI. So Angelica, welcome. Thank you so much. Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Jarmaine Ba, for your leadership at the Urban League of Broward County. I'm so honored to be with all of you here today. We are so proud to be the presenting partner with the Urban League of Broward County and its DEI programming and small business advancement efforts for minority and women-owned businesses. So having said that, on behalf of my company, my colleagues, and the many communities that we serve, thanks again for having me today. So um, at the, as you saw in the video, you know, at Amazon, we really believe that our communities, our planet, and our future generations needs us to be better every day. We start every day with a determination to make better, do better, and be better for our customers, our employees, our partners, and the world at large. We are, com we are customer obsessed, which obviously means we're community obsessed as well. And we believe we must end every day knowing that we can do even more tomorrow. So I'm really proud to share that on the economic development front, Amazon has, a, has had a large and growing presence here in Florida and particularly in Broward. So in Florida, we currently employ over 49,000 Floridians and more than 50 facilities across the state. Five of those facilities are right here in our backyard of Broward County, where we currently have about 700 full-time employees. These are very good, high-paying jobs that offer a national average of $19 an hour, as well as comprehensive benefits from day one. Mm. So in addition to that, over 20 years ago, Amazon made the decision to open our doors, virtual shelves to independent small businesses to sell directly to customers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Most of what you buy on Amazon isn't sold by us, but it's actually sold by third parties, mainly small and medium sized businesses. We are very committed to small business success, as you saw in that video um, in North Carolina. Today, products from independent sellers, most, most of which are small and medium sized businesses, account for nearly 60%, 60% of the items sold in our store. In Florida alone, there are more than 137,000 small and medium-sized businesses and independent authors who grow their business on the Amazon platform. So we are committed to Amazon to business, small business success and making sure that everybody is a part of it. And lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that it's our mission to be a good neighbor and a good community partner, in addition to the best corporate citizen in the region. And that's what we're working towards. We go through incredible lens to impact the community where we live, work, play, you know, from fostering a better learning environment in schools and partnering with the school districts or local um, universities, moving the needle forward to helping create opportunities for those who know most need it, who need it most. Our trailblazing commitment of purposeful giving is at the core of who we are at Amazon. So solving problems and working together for a better future for all the people in the communities is why we're here. At Amazon, we continue to stand with you and by you. We remain committed to making better, doing better, and being better every day. The work doesn't end with this morning's remarks here for myself. And we look forward to partnering with you, the Urban League, to tackle the tough problems of tomorrow and build a better future for all people together. So thank you so much, Dr. Jermaine smith Ball, for having Amazon and myself here today. Well, we are so glad that you're here, Angie. Thank you so much. I'm giving you all the love and hand claps out there um, to all our participants um, who are on. Let's just show Amazon some love this morning. Thank you, Angie. So as I think about this Ready Conference, next month is actually going to mark my 27th year at the Urban League of Broward County with the last 17 years serving as its president and CEO. And like Oprah exposes in her magazine, here's what I know for sure. Diverse input equals better outcomes. At the Urban League of Broward County, I am constantly striving to cultivate a work environment that is not just good, but better. My mom drilled into me as a young child, good, better, best, never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. 
In our leadership roles, we make major decisions, manage high level operations and drive strategic direction. However, to get to better, we must see the good in the diversity of our people and their thoughts, translate that good into tangible services that reflect and develop our community and our companies, which in turn generates better outcomes for all. That is what racial equity, diversity, and inclusion, and this Ready to Lead conference are all about. Diverse input equals better outcomes. We convened in 2020 many of our corporate partners and community stakeholders to discuss the barriers to corporate diversity and how to ensure their ready work is not just performative, but most importantly, impactful and permanent. The creation of this Ready to Lead conference was to make a space for business leaders and others to have open dialogue, formulate and execute strategies that effectuate meaningful social change within their companies and also within the community. So our aim here today at the Ready to Lead conference is to create a clear pathway for company leaders to further equitable changes in their business culture. Today, we have gathered together professionals of diverse thought, business leaders, and change makers who see good in their people and in their employees and associates and want to harness that goodness to make their workforce and workplace more inclusive and a better community for all because diverse input equals better outcomes. I want to invite you this morning and during this morning and during today to have a deep dive into our breakout sessions presented by Cleveland Clinic and join the power panel discussions powered by AIDS Health Foundation Black to receive relevant information from thought leaders and also others in this racial equity sphere of influence. By the end of today, our hope is that you will have the tools necessary to one, create and execute action-oriented efforts to combat racism in your workplace, to identify and challenge racially discriminatory practices in your companies and in your organizations, to dismantle structures in workplace culture, career advancement and procurement opportunities that position some communities to prosper while others may still feel excluded. And last but certainly not least, to develop strategies that promote simple, systemic, sustainable, and scalable change within your company. Throughout this day, make sure to stop by the Ready to Lead Career Center that is presented by City Furniture. And in between these breakout sessions, make sure to say hello to other ready guests. You're all already popping off in the cute in, in the chat already, saying hello to one another, and be able to say hello to our ready guests in our JM Family Networking Lounge. Notifications will appear throughout this morning and this afternoon sessions so that you will be able to be guided to what the next events are in this virtual space. So just watch your screens for those notifications to pop up. And of course, if you're experiencing any technical difficulties, which is always possible in the virtual space, please visit our info desk at your disposal so that you're able to get to the entire duration that will be available through the entire duration of the conference. But before we dive into today's agenda, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you. To say thank you to a few people who without their support, this conference would not be possible today. So I wanna say a special thank you once again to Angelica for representing Amazon, JM Family, Enterpri JM Family Enterprises, Cleveland Clinic, the AIDS Health Foundation Black, which stands for Black Leadership AIDS Crisis Coalition, and City Furniture, all our corporate partners and sponsors. A special thank you to all of our panelists and speakers. Thank you for your time and your talent that you're giving to all of us today. A special thank you to our philanthropy and communication team who coordinated this entire conference, led by our senior VP of philanthropy and communication, Ms. Alika Brown, our senior director of marketing and corporate partnerships, Nina McDowell, our donor relations coordinator, Janella 
Alexander and our event concierge, Donna Garcia. Thank you to all of you for making this day so special and so possible for all of us. So I wanna be clear about something here. As a CEO of the Urban League of Broward County, READY standing for racial equity, diversity, equity and inclusion has never been about filling a quota for us. It is about reflecting on the world that is around us. It is about making sure that inequities do not persist, that it is imperative that we hold spaces like this Ready to Lead conference to have the dialogues, be accountable, and continue the crucial work of moving forward Ready strategies together. Because it's only together that we can have diverse input that will lead to even better outcomes. Remember, good, better, best, never let it rest until our good is better and our better is best. So I wanna thank all of you for joining us this morning, for working with us throughout the year related to our work in this diversity space. And thank you for attending the Urban League of Broward County second annual READY Conference. So as we get geared up for this morning, I'd like to introduce to you in a few minutes, you'll be hearing from Kirsty Miles Esquire, the newest addition to the Urban League's team. We chose in this year to be able to expand our work and had Kirsty to join us to in the creation of our new policy, advocacy and racial equity division. So we are just so pleased to have her with us and thank you for all the work that you have already done, all the work that you are doing, and all the work that you will do in this space. 